This is a step-by-step -step tutorial for smart plant alerts. Uh, I created this system in order to keep this plant alive. This system contains a Raspberry Pi running Neo, a soil moisture sensor that sticks in the plant, and the plant itself. Step one is to create a Neo system. We're gonna call it Smart Plant. After that has created, we're going to create a local instance since we have an instance of Neo running on this Raspberry Pi. The instance name will be called Raspberry Pi. The host name is the IP address of the Pi. And then the port is just the default port that Neo runs on when you have a blank project. Um, so it's 8181. We'll click accept and once that's all spun up, we will create a service. This instance will have two services within it, one to read from the soil moisture data, and then one to format the tweet that the plant will send out when it needs water. So the first service we'll call uh, get soil moisture. This first service will be pretty simple. Uh, we'll need a simulator. We'll pull in an identity interval simulator. We'll call it sim every hour. We'll only read from the moisture every hour. We could make it every day, but every hour to start. Um, there are 3,600 seconds in an hour, so we'll set that config to that. And then an MCP block is what we're using to read from this ADC chip here on this Raspberry Pi hat. This block will probably not be automatically downloaded for you. Don't worry, just go to the available tab in the designer, I'll show you and you can download it. Any of the other blocks that aren't downloaded, um, like a Blink one, pretty easy to download. You just click on the little cloud icon and it'll spin for a while and then download. But what we're looking for, fancy P, we'll name it Git Moisture Data. We'll set up that config right now. I know my Moisture sensor is set to the channel 7 on the ADC chip. If yours is different, feel free to change that. I know my chip is an MCP3008, meaning it has eight channels. If you're using a different version of this chip, set it to one of these two other options. I've hooked it up to have a reference voltage of five on the Raspberry Pi. If you're using a 3V3, three volt pin, um, feel free to change that as well. Once that's set up, We'll simply publish out this data. We'll name this box pub soil data. And set this topic to be uh, soil moisture. Save that. Start it. Now that I finished the first service, we're going to start the second service, which will send the tweet coming from the plant uh, based on the soil moisture data. So in your system designer, make sure you're at the instance level. We'll create a new service. We'll name it send tweet. Click accept. Once that's created, we will go over here. We're going to subscribe to the data that we just published from the get soil moisture uh, service. We'll name it sub soil moisture, set the topic to be soil moisture. You'll know that it's getting data from the service we just created because this terminal will fill in with a solid dot showing you which service you're subscribing to. The next block we'll want is a conditional modifier, if I can spell correctly. This one's going to set the state of the system. So in here, we're going to have a, an attribute called state. It's going to have a couple lookups. The first is going to be if volt is less than 2.5. Um, the soil moisture sensor reads out values with an attribute uh, called volts. So we want to measure if it's less than 2.5, that means the plant needs water, which means we are currently thirsty. The second option will be if volts is less than 3.5. And this means we're okay, we're getting low, but we don't need water quite yet. And then the last one we could just set to true since this is kind of a catch-all statement. 
um, and the value will set to happy. Um, this works because the conditional modifier block goes in order. So if this is true, this will get set and it'll go into the next block. Otherwise, if this is true, it'll get set to OK and we'll go in the next block. And then finally, like I said before, this is a catch all. So we'll set it to happy if none of the other um, formulas before it are true. Then we're going to go into a state change block. Call it um, moisture level change. We can leave most of this the same. We use the same name for the conditional modifier block. Um, so it, the signal coming in should have a state attribute on it. We don't want to exclude existing fields because we probably want everything before. We don't have group by because we're only getting one thing. Um, we can leave initial state to none and we can turn off load from persistence because that's not important in this case. Then we want to send it into another conditional modifier block. This is going to uh, create the tweet. So tweet content. In this one, we want to have an attribute named tweet. Uh, we'll expand this to be true. So if state is thirsty, we want to send a tweet at me. My Twitter handle is Dale Ky underscore Kylie. Hey, Kylie. I'm thirsty. May I have a glass of water? We have another one that's going to say if state equals OK or state equals happy. Put parentheses around these and previous state equals thirsty this is the state where we were thirsty it's been watered and now we're either on our way to being happy or already happy so we'll send a tweet saying we're good and then the final one we want to check is if state equals OK and previous state is happy, we want to tweet that we're getting low on water. Once that's set, We need one more block before we can tweet. This is a filter block, just saying, we just want to check to make sure that we're not just tweeting null content. And then finally, We want to post to Twitter. So if the tweet does not equal none, we want to send the tweet that we just formatted and that attribute is called tweet. So we'll pull that off the signal coming in and that will be our status on Twitter. These you can find from the Twitter application that you created or rather that your plant has created. Um, I have set these to be variables in the Neo ENV file. So I've set them to have these names. So I'm just going to leave the default values of the block. If you don't know how to do this, you can find it in our documentation on how to do that. Um, and so once you accept this, you can save the service, start it. Every hour we'll read from the soil and if the state has changed since the last hour that we simulated a signal to run through Neo, we will get a tweet on Twitter. <laughs>